As a trading expert, I've witnessed numerous traders fail miserably. They make the same fatal mistake of using pivot points incorrectly, leading to a trail of losing trades. But what if I told you there's a way to improve your trading game? A strategy that utilizes not one, not two, but three powerful indicators, the CPR indicator, the Ichimoku cloud, and the SMI indicator. This could be the key to identifying high probability trade setups and finally turning your trading fortunes around. Are you ready to find out more? Keep watching to discover this game-changing strategy. But before that, I want to introduce you to our backtesting service as it makes it very easy and saves you time when backtesting your strategy. Thousands of traders are using Trader Edge to get an edge on their competition. It also has a lot of features that would definitely take you one step ahead of your trading career, just like the position calculator that serves as a great tool for risk management. Are you not sure how to backtest? No worries, you will also get a full step-by-step -step backtesting plan which has a $100 value. Not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy? No worries, you will also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy which has a $270 value. And if you sign up right now, they'll even throw in for pre-made high-quality strategies that have a $100 value, that's for $170 worth of bonuses all for free but only if you sign up right now. Trader Edge has a seven day free trial, so there's absolutely no risk. Click the link in the description below. Let's quickly get down to today's trading strategy that made a lot of money while backtesting. But before we dive into it, let's quickly add our indicator to the chart. For those of you asking, the charting platform I'm using is tradingview.com. Once you open your TradingView charts, bring up the indicator panel, then search for all in one CPR by John Tradingwick add it to the chart. Do not be worried about how rough the indicator makes the chart look, we would be adjusting that to clean up a lot of unused script. So, what does CPR stand for? CPR stands for the central pivot range. This is an indicator used to identify trade price level pivot points. It is very popular among professional traders due to its versatility and simplicity. Now, this indicator gives a lot of buy and sell signals as well as drawing the Bollinger Bands and showing areas for pivot point. Just as the name indicates, it comes with different trading indicators. For an easy trading strategy to use with these buy and sell signals, simply add an indicator to identify the general trend of the market. Add the exponential moving average. Change the length to 200, and that would be all. Simply go long when the price is above the exponential moving average. As we can see here, we would only have to take buy signals. And exactly the opposite is true for a short trade. We just have to wait for the price to sit below the exponential moving average. Then take only sell trades when we have our sell signals. But this is not how we plan on taking trades. This is the novice style to enter trades, so let's get rid of the exponential moving average. For an advanced level, we would be making use of just the pivot point from the indicator as our trading strategy. Let's adjust the settings for our CPR for better visualization. Now bring up the CPR indicator settings and follow these exact resets. And we have our chart looking like this. Before we move on, we need a baseline to better equip us with good entry point. Simply add the Ichimoku cloud by trading view to the chart. The Ichimoku Kinko Hayo, or Ichimoku for short, is a technical indicator used to gauge momentum, along with future areas of support and resistance. Let's also adjust the settings for this indicator. On the input, change the baseline to 144. Now, on the style, uncheck every other setting except the baseline. Lastly, change the color of the baseline to white. And that's all. Please note that these settings apply are for the 5-minute trading strategy as we try to scalp the USDJPY on the 5 minute time frame. Now, how do we enter trades using our CPR trading strategy? We enter by trades when we have our baseline above the recent pivot point, then wait for the price to retrace back towards our pivot point. Wait for price rejection before we enter trades. And if we are on the hunt for a short trade, the baseline needs to be below the recent pivot point as we enter trades when the price rejects the pivot point breakout. 
Not all price retracement makes it back to the pivot point. So to address this issue and give out the final details that made this strategy a success, let me reveal the last indicator that would perfect everything for better entries and exits, as well as reveal the proper conditions for our buy and sell trades that even someone who just started out trading would hop on and start making a profit. Search for the Stochastic Momentum Index of Money Flow Index and add it to the chart. This one right here by Andre007. Please, if you are enjoying our videos, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Moving on. Follow the exact preset that was created for this indicator. Before we move on, please make sure you are able to differentiate between the shades of blue on the SMI indicator. We make use of the darker blue, as this shows strong movement in the market. Apply the settings on your indicator, and you will understand better. For a valid sell signal, follow these simple steps. 1. The baseline needs to be below the pivot point. 2. Wait for the price to retrace and close above our baseline. 3. We would wait until we see the SMI line cross below the signal line, while both remain above our center line. And for the final confirmation, make sure we have the SMI changed to darker blue. So, in our case, this is where we got our signal. Lastly, we only open trades when price action is between the baseline and pivot point. What we mean is this, we don't open trades if price action is below the baseline, or above the pivot point while we got our final confirmation from the SMI. Exactly the opposite is true for a buy trade. Please note that we properly manage open trades like this. When we have all conditions for a valid entry, as in this case, we would go for a long trade. If we open our trade and the price goes in our favor, and breaks above the baseline. We hunt to close the trade for a small loss or profit when the price moves against us and closes below the baseline. So if we opened a trade at this point, we would have exited at this point for a small loss. And again, we got a valid signal here. If we open another trade at this point, we would have closed it at this point for a small profit. So make sure you do not avoid the rules for entry. Follow them as listed. For a high win rate on the USDJPY, 5-minute pair. Here is another entry for a sell position. We see that all our conditions have been met, as we have our baseline below the CP, our pivot point. Next, we waited for the price action to close above the baseline. We can see that our SMI indicator gives a valid signal to confirm the trade setup. We then opened a sell trade at the close of the trigger candlestick. The stop loss is at the CP or pivot point, while the take profit is at two times what we risked in the market. We can see that this trade was successful. Let's dive quickly into backtesting and see how this strategy performed we will use an account size of $1,000, risking 1% of the account size on each trade, to make two times what we risked. You can also increase your risk level to gain more from the market. We have just finished backtesting our CPR trading strategy, and the results are impressive. We had a win rate of 63%, having won 126 trades and lost 74, that's more than half of the percentage range. With the risk management attached to this strategy, we made almost two times what we invested initially, Look at the risk factor. We managed to gain six consecutive wins against for consecutive losses. Therefore, make sure you do proper backtesting before using this strategy to know if it suits your trading style. That's it for today's strategy. Thanks for watching traders. See you in the next one.